Um, so, so it is stemmed from the uh, CQM formalism, um, but um, the first paper for the JS calculus, and that means um, the the JS calculus was invented at uh, the the ICAP uh, conference. So, but uh, at that time, there's no name, and they didn't give the name. And finally, uh, in this uh, very long journal paper, like eight. 80 pages, something like that. They have the name ZS Calculus. So, so that's a, a, a history of ZS Calculus. And so what's the idea of the ZS Calculus? So, so everything in the world is just a, a process. Um, that means it's a box with some wires, input and output, and so the problems of the process uh, correspond to the um, uh, mathematical problems of boxes. And how do you, how do you deal with these problems? Uh, usually you just uh, compose boxes. Uh, you, you compose them, in, you, you connect them, or you put them side by side. Um, so and, but if you cannot just solve problem by, by, by playing with the boxes, and the, the idea is to fill in the boxes with all necessary details. And ZS calculus can be seen as the, the, uh, the details for filling the boxes of the uh, cat categorical quantum mechanics. So that's uh, uh, one of the basic ideas of ZS. And then, so how to use the ZS calculus? Um, so you can see as uh, uh, Using ZS calculus is very similar to to uh, playing with the Go game. So yeah, so so how how do you play with the Go game? So if you don't care about uh, to to have any win, so and then you you just you oh sorry. So you just play the stones on the board. You don't need to do anything else. <laughs> you don't you didn't you don't need to to learn any rules, but. But if you do want to, uh, to have a win, then that means you need to uh, have very good strategies, like AlphaGo did, right? So similar for ZS calculus, if, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't intend to solve any practical problem, then you just play with the diagrams, you, 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 you can connect them, or you can put them to get to, uh, side by side. But if you do want to solve some problems, then you should do something uh, very carefully. You need to choose very good strategies. That means you need to uh, you need to have very good rewriting rules, and you need to decide how to use these rules. So, yeah, that's the basic idea of how to use the uh, ZS calculus. And so, so what is ZS calculus? Uh, basically, is is Composed of, uh, of some particular diagrams. So, so these diagrams is composed of very basic generators, like the, the green spider, red spider, and uh, the Hallam box and the swap, identity, cap and cup and empty. And every, every diagram of the X come, comes from um, compose them together uh, in two ways, like plugging and uh, side, put them uh, side, side by side. That's two basic ways to, to compose diagrams. Um, but so what, that, what, what does this diagram mean? So if you, if you want to know. So there, there, is some, uh, there is a standard interpretation of the, the ZS diagrams. And so so uh, I don't want to show the, all the details. But the, if, uh, so when, when you need it, then you can, you can just uh, uh, look up. For, for this uh, standard interpretation. And so how, how does this uh, diagrams behave? How does them behave? So they, they must uh, obey some rules. So what kind of rules? Uh, this is uh, this, uh, uh, some typical rules for the ZX diagrams, like uh, the spider, if you can fuse them together, and uh, you can, and the cap and the cup doesn't matter for, uh, doesn't depend on which, uh, which, which color. 
and the sapphire joint, and color swap, and so on. So uh, at first, you don't you don't need to you don't need to to, to memorize all these kind of rules. So you just if you want to use, they just uh, you just uh, do some exercise, and then then you can you you, you can quickly learn them. So so how how do we do that? So let me give uh, uh, give an example for that here. Um, so in in 2015, uh, Peter Salinger and uh, and uh, and Sean Inby and they they have uh, uh, a complete relations of a two qubit Clifford plastic circuits, and so that's there are quite a lot of them. There are 17 of them, and here complete means if you you can just. Uh, you can have all the equations, all the relations between two qubit Clifford plus T circuits by uh, by just uh, by just using these relations. You can derive all of them, all the all, all, all the relations uh, of this kind of circuits. So there are 17 of them. So how how do we how can we um, they use another uh, method? But how can we how can we do uh, to prove them at least prove them in ZS calculus? So so the, the, for most of them, they are very simple. For example, here, uh, for the first one, for the first one, this uh, just uh, uh, this just uh, the uh, self adjoint of the uh, here. Uh, sorry, the, where is the loose? Uh, yeah, it's just this room, right? You can see it's just uh, this. It's just this rule, so it's very easy. If you just use uh, apply this rule, then you got this identity, right? So here, it's similar. If you just use a spider, the green spider rule, and fuse them together, then you got you got the uh, you got uh, two pi here, and two pi is just uh, the identity. And uh, here, if this, for example, here, if you just use the um, uh, use the color changing rule, then you got the red uh, pi by two, and uh, then the red pi by two, and then this one, the green pi by two, red pi by two, and the green pi by two is just a, uh, all the decomposition, and then it's Hadama, and uh, Hadama and Hadama is identity, so something like this. So it's very easy to try. So you don't need uh, very hard, very hard uh, uh, work to 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 figure out um, the proof. So similarly for all of these kind of things, for all of these kind of things, it's not it's not uh, difficult. But uh, the problem is here. Look, the last three one. This identity, this this square means uh, the the same thing. They the connect together uh, is identity. Similar to this one, and the, here uh, this is much more complicated. Uh, that means this this part and this part is to connect together. They got they got identity. Uh, so so how, it seems it's not it's not trivial. Uh, to 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 have this identity in ZX, so how how do we do? What can we do for this identity uh, use by using the ZX calculus? So let's first do some uh, uh, do some simple try. Um, uh, so here, so because this this part this part the square. So let let's take the square to be a, and then you can see here that um, there are two greens. Uh, green nodes, so you can fuse them together. You fuse them together, and uh, here you you have two green nodes. You can fuse them together. You just uh, uh, you just uh, add the uh, angles, and also here you got. And then what do you get? You get these kind of things, right? Then you get this one. Uh, there's a Hadamard here, so use a uh, all the decomposition. That means you can turn the Hadamard box into the uh, green and the red nodes, and then you got this one. But so is that enough? Is that enough? So then we we, we, we compose them. We put them together. The the same thing. The same a. We put them together. We got this one. We got this one. But here, um, we can see that not much can be cancelled out. With this this two pi um, becomes uh, this 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 pi and pi, uh, red pi. The two pi uh, they confused. Become uh, they become identity. They fused. And for this pi, you can just uh, uh, use pi commutation, and this change the uh, this change the color. You got this one, and then it, and this move to here. They fuse together. You got this one. 
got this one. And then, so what? Um, you don't know how to do with it, right? It's not uh, obviously, at least. Then, you, so what can you do? And OK, so try all the possible rules, the usual rules. You will try it and, and fail it. And so, so that means we need, uh, need some new rules than the usual ones. But what are they? So what are they? So uh, I said it's like a, uh, like a go game. But can, can you? No. <laughs> you can't use, it doesn't help. So, so, but if you look at it very carefully, if you look at it very carefully here, like here, for this, uh, um, for, for, for this circuit in the bracket, that means here. So if you can try to simplify this part, if, if you can try to simplify this part, then, then maybe it helps, right? So how to simplify it here? So because this is red and this green, and th th this, not, uh, this, this angle and this angle is not too special. That means it's not, it's not pi. Uh, so that means they, they cannot, not, they cannot uh, commute with uh, the red. They cannot. So, so for this part, we don't know how to deal with, how to deal with them. So, but if, you, but if there is a, if there is a rule that can allow you to permute in the colors, for example, there's a red, green, uh, this, red, uh, this green, red, red, green, red, green. If, it, if there is a permuting loop that allows you to turn this one, this, uh, this node into red, green, and red, that means then this is red, then it can, can commute out, outside of this square. And similarly, this one, then they're just green. The, then just the one green node left, and uh, you can then here, here then you can um, have a uh, biagible rule. So the so idea is, can we have uh, such kind of rule? Uh, can we have such kind of uh, color permuting rule? So we ask this question. So yeah, the, so like I said, you need to find some uh, some strategy, some new rule. So the same question was asked. Like five years ago, by Vlad, where's Vlad? <laughs> so they ask they ask questions. So can we have this color swap loop of this four? You, you see, is the same as the question we asked for for the uh, for the previous case. So can can we do that? Mm, this this question was asked in in this paper. So. And then, fortunately, so we have a solution for this uh, for this uh, for this question. But the problem is uh, the the you can see here that the, the, this uh, given this angle um, f one b one and gamma one, then then you can have the corresponding uh, the angle on the right. So this is a kind of uh, permutation loop. Um, the problem is here is that um, so how to get it? How to get it at first? Uh, so so by solving uh, equations, but we do a lot of calculations, which can fill in four pages. If you want to know the detail, you can find in this paper, this archive paper, in the detail. Uh, not this paper, we we don't have the details. Okay, so. But so I, I really want to use the formula directly. No, because it's too complicated, you see. It's too complicated. So, you can't. so it, it doesn't help much if you use them uh, directly for, 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 uh, for general angles. So how, how can you do? So basically, we just need some properties. Uh, from this loop, we call P loop. So that means if for this, that means if these two angles here, alpha one and gamma one, are the same, then from this formula, um, from th from this formula, then you can know that these two red angles on the right they can be the same. And if these two are uh, 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 how to say, if if they, they are, um, if, if this the the, the if this is uh, how to say is the minus of this one, the angle, and then 
the, these two angles are up to a pi, up to pi. So, so we don't need to know the exact, uh, exact uh, uh, values of these angles. We just need this property. We just need this property. So by this property, you can see we can do like this. I, um, so, so here that means you, uh, we can just assume, um, because of the, the formula, we can just assume oh, that there is some, uh, that there is swap rule, there is swap rule, there's a P rule, you can swap the colors like this. And we use the property because these angles, they are the, these angles, they, they, this is the negative of this one. So that means you can assume gamma is alpha plus pi, right? And also then you can see here, this is, uh, th these angles, this, uh, this, this angles can, these nodes can, uh, can be com uh, permuted to, to, to this one. And it's, uh, from, from here then, you know the inverse, the inverse uh, of these nodes is this. And they, they, um, they can have the, the, the form. They can have this, uh, the form like this, right? You can you can turn once you know this one, then you can turn this into into this red, red green red nodes. So if you, we just submit submit uh, substitute this one into this uh, diagram, the, the circuit uh, we want to deal with, and then you can see here. And this formula here, then we got this one because they're up to pi, up to pi. Then, then it's this one, and then you can see here, this one can move out. This one can move out because they're green. They can commute, and then just one left. And here, these are two red. They can fuse together like this. And this one is the uh, another form of the uh, by algebra rule. So that means this one you can turn it in this form. We call now we call phase gadget. You have this one, and then, okay. So this is just the the, the one the single part of the, the a part, and we, we just want to know the, the square of a. So we put them together, put them together. Then uh, in the middle they cancel out. You see they cancel out. They cancel out. And this pi have a pi commutation, and then then you can move it here. You can move to here, and then you got this one. Then you got this one. And here, then you see the red nodes and red nodes, they can fuse together in this one. And here, you can use the bi algebra rule again. Use the bi algebra again, then you got this one. And here, there is uh, this angles and this angles are green, so again, they can fuse together, you got zero. And zero can be copied by red, and then they copied, they dis got disconnected. Then you got here. And also the angles, we don't know the exact value, but they cancel out, just cancel out. And then got the identity, then got the identity. So by playing this kind of scenes, then you, you finally get the result. And similarly,